When you arrive on the island after an 11 hour flight, it is only 9.30 in the morning and we can start to work directly. We chose reunion for our studies, not only for logistic reasons, but also because the island is very young. It's only two to three million years old and still has a very high genetic diversity in insects and their associated nematodes, which we study. It's very easy to get around on the island because uh, the street system is very developed and we can reach all the places we want to go to. During the day, we run around with insect nets and try to catch uh, whatever possible. And at night, we have light traps uh, to attract the insects we are interested in. Mostly scarab beetles, which you can see here. This is one example of a Hoplochelus species. This is an Adoretus species. And this is an endemic Oryctus species, which carries a lot of nematodes we are highly interested in. After catching these insects, we bring them to the laboratory to have a closer look at them. We put a little container on the island and equip the container with all kinds of machines we need for our studies. The container is not too big, but still it is big enough to host a number of people. And we can do all the necessary studies in this little container lab. And after working there for some time, we go again to the field to catch more insects, even if it's raining, which happens quite often on the island. Reunion is uh, one of the wettest places on Earth and uh, it has several records for rainfall. You just need to take an umbrella and then you're ready to go. The insects don't mind the rain too much. Actually, the rain is very important for the vegetation and uh, vegetation on the island is really nice. So you see these fern trees, you see all kind of different tropical plants. We walk around in the rain and uh, catch insects, adults or larvae. In this case, it's a scarab larva. And after catching more insects, we of course bring them back to the lab for further studies for isolation of nematodes, which we bring in the end uh, back to Germany to our department. After seven to ten days it's already time to fly back to Germany to bring the samples home and to prepare for the next trip which will be a few months later.